How do you do recurring tasks inside of Notion? I get asked this a lot. Uh, Notion doesn't have a built-in recurring uh, calendar reminder system sort of built in. So you kind of have to make your own. Um, I found a system that works for me. I'll share it with you and I encourage you to take what fits and leave the rest. So this is my focus dashboard, which is basically um, where I can do my task management without worrying about any other things that need to get done. I do often do a lot of my task management inside of my weekly agenda, but I also like to have this focus dashboard where there is just no other information other than the tasks that need to get done and I can really zero in on my priorities. So you'll notice here at the very top of my board, um, I basically have an instance of my master task database, which is my uh, actions database here, and it is uh, filtered by recurring tasks. So how I do that is this is filtered by anything that is assigned to me and is tagged with recurring. And I like to view these by day of the week. This is sort of how I visually like to kind of see this in my head. I like to know what are the tasks that kind of I'm responsible for every single day of the week. The board view, I just, it works for my brain. I really love it. Um, so if I open up any one of these, you can see every Monday there's a date here. Uh, status is in progress and that one's actually completed. Um, but this, I actually don't really rely on these because the items that are recurring never get marked as done. All I do is reset the date every week and sometimes I don't even do that. Um, the date to me is usually not as important. I often, again, don't really, don't really do due dates. Um, but what I do is I use my today, tomorrow, uh, next as a way to organize my uh, responsibilities. So today's Thursday, I need to record a YouTube video and publish a bi-weekly YouTube video. If I open this up, um, you can see the dates past due. Um, and I really only use dates if I just want those reminders. And so uh, that's today, the 21st. I can remind on the day of event, so that's happening. You can see the day is Thursday. And so again, this is uh, grouped by day. Group by, you can choose um, any select property, single select or by owner. And again, I like to view the recurring tasks by day, but the rest of my activities, generally speaking, I like to view them by effort and impact. So what I do is, I know I need to record this today, so I would activate this today. Um, usually I would do this the night before. I would kind of map out those items into the correct categories. So when I open this in the morning, I can see this is what needs to get done today. And again, I need to publish it. So record and publish. Those are the things I'm gonna need to get done that are recurring. Once I've done that, I don't actually mark that as complete. I never mark those as complete. I simply would move that back here and reset the date to the next week and we're good to go um, and some of these might be you know daily grind some of these might be a small win uh, some of those I could move to tomorrow and then kind of reset them uh, and again you can reset them at the end of the day you can reset them as soon as they're done it's really up to you um, Again, this is totally personal preference. You might find there's a different way of doing that. Maybe you actually don't mind having these uh, no longer in the recurring and you know, you've got them moved down here and only at the end of the week, maybe do you wanna go back and, and drag those drag those back in. Uh, but that's what's been working for me at the moment is just having these pinned tasks. They never get done. They're associated with the day of the week. And in my journal entries as well, my daily journal, uh, those are connected also. Like I have a Monday template and inside my Monday template, there is a link to these two Monday tasks. So I always know whenever I create a new journal entry for Monday, those tasks are going to appear there as well because I know that they are uh, recurring important tasks. And then the rest of my tasks, I like to view by that impact and energy level. Like I've got today's activities by effort and these are filtered by uh, day is today. Again, you'll see I don't generally use due dates unless there is actually a consequence to things not being done by a certain date. Um, I do also have a small reminder there, that exclamation mark that, that does tell me that there is a date and that I'm either coming up or I'm, I'm past that due date. So that's kind of danger zone. I can open this up and see that that's, uh, that's overdue. 
And then similarly, I've got my follow-ups and reminders, things like that. Um, you can see I've got weekly follow-ups and inside of that weekly follow-ups, I can just add um, inline tasks and to-do items in there just to kind of uh, mention who my follow-ups are without having to create a new task for every single follow-up because uh, those activities are, are pretty small. They don't necessarily need their own task. And then I've got my next and toward the end of the week, uh, when I actually go to plan my week, I do it by day of the week. So I can kind of uh, drag this around, kind of activate it, assign it, and that you can see it will show up uh, show up here under next. So if I, if I put follow up here into next, you can see that that has updated here. So I do a mix of organizing by uh, day of the week when I'm planning and then by energy level here when I really want to focus on what do I need to get done today because when I'm doing my weekly planning I'm looking at how many items are in the deep work category because those are going to require a lot more focus a lot more time and attention I need to make sure I've got those blocks available in my calendar when I'm doing that calendar blocking and so I know that I, I generally speaking don't want more than one or you know, one or two deep work blocks in a single day. Otherwise I know it's gonna be a pretty intense day. So that's how I handle recurring tasks. Uh, this is what works for me. I again, encourage you to find a system that works for you. You might wanna see these tasks uh, in a couple different ways. I think I've got a, a gallery view here. Um, that's another simple way to do it. Uh, but I, I do like having that sort of day of the week uh, look that really helps anchor it for me and gets me into that habit of knowing uh, what are those activities that need to get done every day. You might also decide too that this is a work focus board and maybe you don't want some of these uh, you know, house tidying and gardening activities. You could filter out anything that has a category of home, home and garden. That is totally personal preference. But uh, again, this is what works. This is how I handle recurring tasks. And hopefully Notion will make it a lot easier to kind of reset those dates. It would be wonderful if I could just say, this is a weekly recurring event and keep those reminders on. Uh, that would be awesome. But yeah, in the meantime, I just kind of leave those as unchecked. I hope that is helpful, helps clarify. Let me know if you've got any questions down below. Happy to elaborate. I know task management is, um, it's pretty tricky because Notion is not opinionated. You know, it's not a, a tool like Asana. And so you actually have to kind of uh, build that structure for yourself in order for it to work for you. And uh, yeah, there can be a bit of friction when you're trying to figure out what that best system is for you. This is what I found works for me. So uh, definitely take it, leave it, play with it, find the system that works for you and uh, let me know how it goes.